What is up, guys? Welcome to week seven of the NPL Majors. This week we are up against Trev and his, uh, Trev CL, sorry, and his uh, Houston Toxapexans. And um, I'm just trying to get a win at this point, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, my record is horrible just because of my loss against Verd, uh, because I did take over Togue's team, of course. But uh, we are going to try to get a win somewhere uh, during this season. I got some pretty tough opponents, Trev being one of them. Uh, everybody's tough in this league, so realistically, uh, there isn't uh, any week where I can slack off. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is his team on the right side. You see there, Tapu Fini, Volcarona, Mega Gallade, Shaman, Silvali, Yuxi, Bisharp, Dragalji, uh, Z, Landorus, Incarnate, which is uh, Sand Force, of course. Uh, he's got Torkoal and Victory Bell, which make up a little Sun Core as well. So, a very good team, and he has leftover points, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, but, anyway... Moving on, um, as you can see, he has a very dangerous threat to our team, which is Volcarona. So uh, I got to make sure to cover that. And so the first one that we have on our team here is uh, Tornadus T. Choice Scarfed once again, second week in a row, because I'm finding myself bringing Choice Scarf Tornadus. Unfortunately, this team is not very good. Uh, so I've got Hurricane, HP Ice, U-Turn, and Smackdown. Smackdown specifically for the um, for the Volcarona. Make sure I can knock it out. Uh, even if, like after rocks, essentially if it gets up a, a quiver of dance, uh, I can't knock it out from full, especially a bulky variant, definitely not. Uh, but I don't believe uh, Volcarona knocks me out with anything at plus one either if it is a bulky variant, so I should be fine there so long as rocks aren't up on my side. Um, also got Hurricane on there, it hits pretty neutrally across this team. Uh, not a bad move to have. HP Ice is specifically for the Landorus. Also hits Victory Bell if I don't want to use uh, Hurricane, Shaman, and whatnot. And, uh, of course, U-turn for momentum, so pretty self-explanatory. Mostly attack, some special attack investment. I can't tell you exactly what the EVs do because it was a long time ago that I, I built the, the teams. It's been over two weeks now, uh, or roughly two weeks. So, um, yeah, the uh, the speed is just specifically for his uh, Lando, I believe, to cover Scarf Lando as well. Um, next up, we have Lucy, the Mega Mawile. So, uh, in case you guys didn't notice, this is a Trick Room team. That's why I'm minus speed. Uh, I do have 31 IVs for some reason. Uh, that probably should be zero, but anyway, I don't think it matters. Um, not against his team anyway. He doesn't have anything that can outslow me. Maybe Dragalgy, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, we've got Swords Dance, Rock Slide, Sucker Punch, and Play Rough. Obviously, in the Trick Room, Rock Slide's going to be really nice for Volcarona if he thinks that's a counter. Sucker Punch uh, deals with. Uh, some things like Mega Gallade, uh, Revenges, things like Dragalgy, Landorus Incarnate at plus two. It's a very, very strong move to have. And Play Rough just hits pretty neutrally across his team once again, kind of like Hurricane. Uh, he doesn't really have a resist outside of Volcarona, and that's why I have Rock Slide. So if that makes sense to you guys. And uh, pretty much hits everything else really, really hard. By the way, with this attack investment, of course, after Rocks, uh, even a max defense uh, Torkoal, if I'm at plus two, dies to Rock Slide. I think I was... Uh, I think I was this speed because I wanted to outspeed a Torkoal outside of Trick Room because there was a very high likelihood that he would bring in his Torkoal um, or that he would even EV his Torkoal to be slower than me regardless. So I wanted to be faster than like a max speed Torkoal or like a slightly speed invested Torkoal um, outside of Trick Room. So that's that. Anyway, moving on. We have Pangoro, Chopper, uh, Assault Vest, Mold Breaker uh, with Knock Off. Uh, why am I Mold Breaker? I should be Iron Fist, shouldn't I? Uh, I think I was Iron Fist, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, yeah, things got messed up with this team in the meantime, but we have Knock Off, Gunk Shot, Hammer Arm, and Ice Punch, as you can see, his team does not appreciate this thing at all, uh, Knock Off deals with Volcarona, with, uh, Dragalgy, Torkoal, Victory Bell, all those things, Gunk Shot is there specifically for the Tapu Fini, of course, uh, Hammer Arm is there for his, uh, Bisharp, I just need something to hit it, I don't want to be walled completely by a Bisharp when I'm a Pangoro, so there's that, and, uh, Ice Punch hits Dragalgy and, uh, Landorus Eye for super effective damage, as well as Shaman, and, uh, it's, it's just very nice to have on there, it hits Victory Bell too, so, uh, I am Assault Vest because I couldn't think of another item to run, could have run Life Orb, but I like the sustainability of this thing, uh, in fact, actually, with this, uh, spread, uh, from full, I can live an uninvested Moonblast, believe it or not, from uh, Finny, there is a chance to live it, so there's that, and uh, I take on Volcarona as well, like Bug Buzz won't kill me, I have the Spit F investment, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the set. Moving on to um, Eager, I think this is Edgar, why did everything get messed up? This is weird. Anyway, uh, well, we'll see in the game if it, if it was actually messed up or not, because we'll see Mold Breaker go through and whatnot. Um, it might have just been me and like rushed prep or something, but anyway, we got psychic slack off call mine trick room So uh, essentially this is one of our trick room setters. Of course call mine psychic does a lot of work to his team. It, it plows through um, 
presuming that he doesn't bring Bisharp, but Bisharp's a likely bring, which is why I have a lot of things that can knock it out, uh, specifically Mawile and uh, Pangoro, so... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. It's one of our trick room setters. Uh, the defense investment is just to take hits from uh, Bisharp once my item is gone, once my leftovers are gone, so long as he isn't life orb. Uh, and I can also take pretty much any hit from all of his physical attackers, including Gallade. And uh, the special defense was there so that um, Volcarona couldn't beat me and whatnot. Um, as you guys can see, I am oblivious. This is intentional. Uh, I don't want Finny taunting me. So, even though I can get a Trick Room while Finny's not in, Finny is a good setup target for uh, Slowbro to start setting up. If Bisharp's already gone, I can come in on Finny, get up a Trick Room, it cannot taunt me, and I can start Calm Mining in its face. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the game plan there, uh, is to just get up a bunch of Calm Mines in front of Finny, and then just sweep through his team like Gallade doesn't take this on well, neither does Shaman once I'm at plus two, plus two. Um... Really, really, the only thing would be like a life orb to sharp. So, moving on, we have George, the uh, little Marowak. I really do not like Togue's nicknames, but I'm keeping them just to keep the spirit of his team alive. Uh, we have Thick Club, Rockhead, 240 HP, 16 speed F, 252 attack, uh, Max with Adamant, Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone. Uh, Stealth Rock, Swords Dance. Uh, Stealth Rock is very nice for his team, especially for Volcarona. I kind of need that. Uh, Flare Blitz hits really, really well across his team. Shadow Bone is, of course, uh, the best thing I have to hit Finny with. Uh, I don't really need anything else than than this thing's dual stabs, realistically. Uh, plus two Shadow Bone does so much to Torkoal, and it can't knock me out with a, with an Earth Power, even if it is max special attack. Uh, maybe if rocks are up, but I think it's still a roll. And uh, yeah, it's again, in Trick Room, this thing does amazing, so I'm going to rock with it. Moving on to uh, Freddy, the Porygon 2. This this nickname I like. Uh, Eevee Light, of course, download is really good uh, against this team because there are a lot of things that are likely to run uh, physical defense as opposed to special defense because I have a lot of hard-hitting special uh, physical attackers like Pangoro and Mawile, so uh, and a little Marowak, of course. So this thing is uh, is best with download. I think there wasn't anything I really wanted to trace on his team. Uh, maybe analytic, but even then I don't have a um, a normal move. We are Bolt Beam, Recover, and Trick Room, as basic as you can get, but it does pretty well against this team. Uh, Ice Beam is nice for the uh, Lando, Dragalge, and the Shaman. Thunderbolt is there, of course, for the Tapu Fini, because I can be taunted, uh, because I don't have Oblivious, of course, so um, I want to be able to smack it with Thunderbolts, and again, Finny is something that's likely to run more Fizz Def than it is uh, Spadef against me, so I will get a uh, special attack raise on it. So yeah, that's pretty much the team, guys. Uh, let's hop into the game, and we'll see how it went. Uh, and we will do that right here. So um, we're actually just going to reset that. Uh, I was mid-battle, but anyway, uh, we see the team matchup here. We have uh, Tornadus, Mawile, uh, Pangoro, Slowbro. Uh, this is in a different order, I think, than the team builder, actually, which is funny. Uh, no, 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 it's the same order. Alolan Marowak and the, um, and the Porygon 2. So, uh, on his side, we do have the Mega Gallade that came, the Volcarona, which was I, I was pretty sure was going to come. Shaman was um, kind of a 50-50. Bisharp uh, was 100% coming. There was no avoiding it. And uh, Tapu Fini. And then I saw Silvalli, and I was like, hmm, what kind of Silvalli did he bring against me? That's interesting. But uh, team looks pretty solid on Trev's part. Uh, let's just hop into it and see how it went. You guys already kind of got spoiled because I was mid-battle watching the replay myself, but uh, we are going to open up with Torn, and I see Silvalli Electric, so this is his Tornadus check, clearly. Um, or and, and a few things on my team, actually, uh, it deals with pretty well, so uh, I'm just going to U-turn out. He is going to... Uh, I'm going to get a, an attack raise from switching into uh, P2 here. Uh, Freddy and he's gonna get out with parting shot and go straight into Bisharp and I'm like, okay Well, this is a bad start. He's gonna go for stealth rocks and I'm gonna go for a trick room So looking pretty good. We got the trick room up I'm gonna switch into Bangoro. I can take any hit even from life orb unless of course he crits me with iron head and uh, This is pretty much the turning point of the game right here um, If Pangoro was still alive look at his team guys for a second um, essentially hammer arm uh, there were no switch-ins outside of Finny. If I drop my speed, it doesn't matter. I'm in Trick Room. Uh, I can Gunk Shot the Finny. I can knock off the uh, Volcarona. I can Gunk Shot the Shaman. Knock off or uh, even Hammer Arm the Silvalli, which it won't appreciate. And Gallade's only form of priority. 
uh, is going to be Shadow Sneak or Sucker Punch, both of which are resisted. Um, and I believe, well, Shadow Sneak's weaker than Sucker Punch, but Sucker Punch is four times resisted, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm par fighting, yeah. Um, so there was absolutely no way that he could knock me out, so I had a free Pangoro for three turns, essentially, and he had to play around it. But because he crits me, one, I do find out that he's Life Orb, so that's nice, but I lose one of my biggest offensive checks to his team, so this is not looking good right away. Uh, moving on. We go into Lucy, we get off an Intimidate. I do give him the Defiant boost, but he has to be worried about Fire Fang and a bunch of other things, so he's going to switch out. He's going to go into his Mawile response, apparently, which is Volcarona. It's not a sweeper. It is Rocky Helmet uh, for my Mawile. And I do get a crit with uh, with Player Off. Doesn't end up mattering because I end up Rock Sliding on the next turn and getting rid of his Volcarona, so that's nice. Uh, Trick Room is going to end on the following turn. He is going to go into Shaman, though, and I know that I can't knock this thing out with a Play Rough because it's probably got some bulk investment, and even if it didn't, it probably didn't die, uh, but if I recall correctly, um, yeah, if I recall correctly, it was nowhere near dying, even with, uh, without any bulk, so I'm gonna switch out here, I'm gonna go into P2, knowing that the Trick Room is about to end, and I think I'm gonna get it right back up, so I'm gonna get the special attack raise on the Shaman, which is nice, uh, proves to me that it's probably defensively invested. And uh, he's actually going to go for Toxic as I go for the Trick Room. And what's nice is that I got this special attack raise, so I'm pressuring him with Ice Beam. Uh, and it's actually doing over half, so that's really good. He's going to stay in, go for Earth Power, assuming that he doesn't doesn't have Seed Flare. Uh, or he wanted to prevent my Mawile from coming in for free. So uh, on this turn, he's going to switch into his Gallade. I could have very well switched out, uh, either predicting him to Synthesis, predicting a Recover on my end... Or, uh, I knew that he didn't want to sack Shaman because Shaman was a good response, uh, well, one, to this Porygon because it does have Toxic, and two, to my Slowbro, as well as my Mawile if I'm not in Trick Room. Uh, so, I probably should have predicted him to go into Gallade, but at the same time, I didn't want to switch in my Mawile to another Earth Power, so I wanted to be careful with that because Mawile was looking good in the endgame. So I'm just going to Ice Beam again, as we're going to get off a nice 34% on this Gallade, and uh, on this turn, I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt because uh, Freeze is unlikely. I know Para is just as unlikely on Thunderbolt, but if I do get a Paralysis off on this thing, it's looking pretty good for us. So he's going to go for a close combat. Obviously, we are going to die from that, but that's fine. I'm now going to go into my Alolan Marowak and uh, predicting him to not want to stay in, I am going to get up my Stealth Rocks now. Not that they really matter, but they actually do end up coming in clutch, as you guys will see. Um, and we are going to go for a Shadow Bone. It turns out this Finny does not have a Water move to hit me with, or at least if it did, it did not go for it on either of these two turns, and I am going to knock it out with two Shadow Bones. So down goes the Tapu Finny, and we are outside of Trick Room, unfortunately, so whatever he sends in is going to be able to knock me out. He ends up going into Gallade, so um, this was actually a really good play from Trev, because had he gone into Bisharp, uh, he would have lost this game 100%. Um, because he would have taken an extra life orb hit, and you guys are going to see why that matters later. So he's going to go for a knockoff, he's going to knock me out. I did pred uh, predict him to bring knockoff on his Gallade, uh, specifically for things like Porygon 2, uh, Slowbro, basically to cover my, my Trick Room and my defensive options that counter Gallade. So I am actually going to go into Slowbro, I don't care if this thing has knockoff, I want my, no my leftovers knocked off to reduce the damage from Bisharp later, and I'm going to get up a Trick Room. If you guys did catch the Team Builder portion, you'll know... I do not have a move to hit Bisharp with, I am Mono Psychic, so I'm basically playing this, uh, giving him the impression that I do have a, uh, a water move. So he's going to see Calm Mind, he sees Trick Room, he knows I have Slack Off, he knows I only have one attacking move. I'm going to play around this Silvali as best I can and try to get up uh, multiple Calm Minds. I can't on this turn because I need two turns of Trick Room so that I can slack off the damage from the second Thunderbolt essentially. So I'm going to now set back up the Trick Room on this turn and uh, he's going to Thunderbolt me again. I'm going to get up the Trick Room, going to go for Slack Off. I'm taking less and less damage from these Thunderbolts. At this point, because that's doing 38%, I can afford to go for another Calm Mind here. And uh, he's going to go for another Thunderbolt, not knock me out, only do 30%. And I am going to slack off again on this turn as he T-bolts once again. And uh, if I was Surf and I clicked Surf right here, I might have been able to win the game. But uh, he's going to go for Parting Shot, and he's going to switch into uh, Bisharp. And I don't have anything to hit this thing with, so I actually have to stay in and click Trick Room again. Uh, because I need this thing to take a few life orb hits. I realize that at this point, my best way of winning is going to be with Mawile. His Shaman is low, and I can knock it out with a... 
uh, with a play rough or anything from Torn. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out as I have two turns of Trick Room left after this turn. He's going to go for a knockoff onto my Mawile. I figured that he would click knockoff again. He's going to end up switching out into his Shaman, sacking it to the play rough. And then on the following turn, he's going to go into his Mega Gallade uh, and reveals Shadow Sneak. So this is his way of hitting me. Uh, for a little bit of extra damage, which is nice for him, uh, as now I'm at 17%, but I'm not low enough to the point where I can't switch in on rocks again, so my Trick Room is going to end as he brings in his Bisharp, I believe. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sack off my Slowbro, my Oblivious Slowbro, um, which didn't matter whether it, it was Oblivious or Regenerator at this point, like I would have been, still been in range of his knockoff, you guys were seeing it do 50% uh, earlier. 50 to 60 so i'm gonna go into torn i'm gonna bluff the fact that i might have heat wave and i'm gonna make him switch out into savali i'm just going to, gonna go for hurricane and uh, i'm gonna hope that i can get this thing in range of a sucker punch so now my game plan is crit sucker punch with mawile on the bisharp that is my only game plan at this point nothing else will work so i'm gonna go for another hurricane i end up missing on the savali if i would have hit that Sucker Punch would have uh, not been a roll, and now it's a roll to kill this Silvali, depending on its investment, of course. But I am going to go into Mawile, and I am going to go for the Sucker Punch. I, I believe this is my first time revealing it this game, so I am going to get the Silvali, and it dies. Now, all that's left is Bisharp versus Mawile. By my commentary, you guys should already know who won this game, but um, basically, like I said, I need to crit this thing. However, there is one alternate route to winning. And that is if, um, well, not to winning, but you guys are about to see. I'm going to click Sucker Punch, and I get this thing down to 5% <laughs> with that sucker as he goes for knockoff and dies to Life Orb. And ladies and gentlemen, the first 0-0 of my Draft League career. <laughs> That's right, we have a 0-0. This very rarely happens, only in the event of things like Explosion, uh, or life orb damage or uh, Pokemon I believe dying to recoil so I believe those are the three scenarios where that can occur and one of them happened this week so yeah that's it guys um, pretty much we are uh, two losses in the first one was kind of uh, I, I didn't expect to lose the first game to be honest with you guys I just made a really really stupid play um, the one against Verd two weeks ago that you guys saw uh, but this one was a lot closer. I'm really glad that it came down this close against Trev uh, and that really the game would have played out completely differently if he didn't crit my Pangoro. But crits happen. I'm okay with it. You know what? It happens. Uh, I'm also using a team that I really don't like. So uh, looking at my chances for when we draft for next season, if I actually end up getting a team that I like using, uh, then I'm, I, I feel like I have a really, really good shot at making playoffs next season. So I'm really glad to finally be back up to majors. Last time I was here, I went two and one, um, and I only lost to, who was it? Uh, Togue actually to Chris. Um, and it, that was a really, really close game and I almost brought it back too. So I almost went three Oh when I replaced Rob, but, uh, it's looking okay. Uh, I'm not worried. I know that I'm not making playoffs this season. I, I know that I'm, I'm probably going to end up with the worst record uh, regardless because Togue only got one win when he was around. So there's nothing I can really do about that, but uh, I'm still going to prep as best I can and play as best I can, as you guys can see. We brought it down to a 0-0, so uh, good enough, but uh, I would have really liked the win. Either way, uh, guys, make sure to check out Trev in the description down below. His battle will be out at the same time as this one. I actually have to get this out really, really soon uh, as I'm recording this. Uh, also, in about uh, two hours or so, our GBA battle goes live uh, for the D-League. Uh, make sure to catch that if you guys uh, want to stick around. Uh, come go and eat something. Go and do something at the mall. It's a Sunday, wherever you live. If it's nice out, go and do something. Come back two hours from now. Watch that GBA uh, D-League game. And then uh, let me know what you guys thought of that. Also, make, make sure to click the like button down below on this video. Uh, if you guys want to check out anything NPL related, the links will be in the description as well. Of course, like I said, as my opponents in the description down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.